Hi everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, my name is Marla and I am currently on Accutane. For those of you that don't know what Accutane is, it is pretty much a medication that is supposed to clear up all acne and get rid of it. So I've been on Accutane for a little over five weeks and my dosage has been very low. So usually like a normal prescription for Accutane would be two pills a day. And I've been on one pill every other day, which was only 40 milligrams every other day. It's a pretty relatively low dose. Now, just yesterday I got upped to now one pill a day and plus a steroid to help with my inflammation and swelling and redness. But today's video, I want to walk through my skincare routine, a meal that I make when I'm taking my Accutane, and then um, just like a Q&A, just about like why I decided to do Accutane, what led me to do it, how it's been, my side effects. So if any of you guys are watching this and you're struggling with acne right now, I get it. It sucks, but I know that there's gonna be a light at the end of the tunnel and it'll be here eventually. So I'm very much in the beginning stages of Accutane. So anyway, this is just my little video so far of my experience. So first things first, I always remove my makeup with coconut oil. This has been my tried and true product. I feel like it's the cheapest form of makeup remover. It lasts forever and it slips my waterproof makeup off like like that. I wear waterproof mascara because I have the world's straightest lashes and so only waterproof like holds the curl. Anyway, but the coconut oil does great. Part of me also has wondered in the past like, oh, maybe the coconut oil was causing my congestion, but it really wasn't. It literally like, I've tried other makeup removers and I really haven't seen a difference. When I had a clear baby butt skin back in like even high school, like I, was still using coconut oil. So anyway, I rub my makeup with coconut oil and then I washed my face with the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. Back before I started Accutane, almost a month before, I went to Ulta and I asked the worker, I was like, do you have a really good hydrating cleanser that you'd recommend? And she recommended this one. For me, a good cleanser means a cleanser that doesn't break me out. I've had no issues with this cleanser. I feel like it doesn't strip my face at all. And I feel, I obviously have really dry skin right now because of Accutane being a side effect, but this one I feel like has helped combat that a little bit. Really, my skincare morning routine is super simple. I just splash my face with water and then I moisturize with CeraVe moisturizing cream. This is a very thick, heavy cream. So if you have very dry skin, this is gonna be your best friend for life because it really is, it's just like a thick, almost literally like a pudding almost. I haven't really tried many other moisturizers outside of this one. I've just seen so many people on Accutane recommend this one and it's worked for me. So also I will say very affordable for the price because you get such a massive amount of moisturizer. Like this will last me for probably the entire year. And then the follow up my morning skincare routine, I always wear sunscreen. So I've been wearing the Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. This is SPF 35. Some sunscreens I've used, they've broken out in the past. This one I haven't had issues. So once again, that's what makes it a good sunscreen for me. Also, I love the way this one smells. Aquaphor. If you have heard anything about Accutane, you've probably also heard a lot about Aquaphor. Just in general, I feel Aquaphor is a girl's best friend on TikTok, especially. <laughs> I feel like anyone could benefit from using Aquaphor just because it's such a densely moisturizing substance. Like I put this on my lips. I put it on, like I lather it on, especially at night. And I just feel like it hydrates my lips. It's like a big glass of water. So sometimes if I'm peeling a lot because of my skin, I'll take a really, really thin layer of this aquaphor and I'll lay it underneath my makeup just to help make it not look so flaky. But just in general, aquaphor is gonna be the best like moisturizing product that I probably have, especially for my lips. My nighttime skincare routine is extremely similar. I literally just remove with the coconut oil, like I was saying, any waterproof makeup, especially concentrating on my eyes. I don't really rub the coconut oil all over my face, just really the eye makeup. And then I cleanse once again with the rose water daily cleansing gel. And then after I wash my face, I immediately have to moisturize. Otherwise I feel like the Sahara desert. And then I put on my aquaphor. Sometimes if I want, I'll put on my my Laneige lip mask. And then I recently, like literally just barely today, I bought this face mask. So I'm gonna try this out tonight. I have no opinions or recommendations for this at all yet because I haven't used it. But just in general, my dermatologist talked about, he's like, honestly, don't try to use any like acne clearing makeup products just because he's like, let the Accutane do its work. In my personal opinion, I don't think it ever could hurt to try to hydrate my skin even more. So this is just solely a hydrating face mask. So I'm excited to use this tonight and see how it does. Um, maybe I'll like follow up in a following video, but I'm just thought I would show this because this might become something incorporated into my daily night skincare routine. But this one is the, I think it's called Pa Badali. Badali. Also the packaging is really cute and I'm a sucker for good packaging. So that is just generally my basic skincare routine. Really super simple. Being on Accutane, it is, can be a very harsh drug. So last thing I want to do is be putting all these like acids and creams and whatever on my face. I just want to give my face a break. I actually saw someone comment on a TikTok about skin. It was like a skincare thread and they were just saying that you should treat your skin like a rose petal or like a flower petal. Just like be really delicate with it. And that's something sometimes I struggle with because I've struggled with picking up my skin in the past and still sometimes do. I feel like I've gotten better at it 
as I've been more conscious and aware of it, especially on Accutane, the last thing I want is to like cause more scars that are unnecessary. So um, I feel like I try to treat my skin gently because it deserves to be treated in such a way. But I definitely, I'm working on that one. Now for acne, like picking and skin picking in general, if you struggle with that, something that has helped me is those overnight pimple patches. Like an active breakout, I like to put it on top, not even because it necessarily gets rid of the pimple, but I feel like it prevents me from picking at it. Anyway, so that is my skincare routine. I hope those visuals of me like talking through it helped, but I really just like to keep things simple. On Accutane, I wanna stay simple and I wanna stay hydrated. So that's really the only two goals that I have. Accutane can do this work of clearing my skin and I'm just gonna sit back and relax. So relax in my acne. Hi everybody. Okay, so I didn't want this to take up like a huge portion of the video, but I did wanna show a typical meal that I'd eat when I'm taking my Accutane. So I made some smashed potatoes. Um, they're pretty much, you just boil your potatoes and then you season them and then bake them for like 25 minutes. They're so yum, my mom makes these all the time. So I wanted to try it out myself. But then I roasted some Brussels sprouts. This looks divine. I roasted some Brussels sprouts and I love mine a little crispy burnt. They're so yummy. But that is what I'm eating for lunch. I'm having a little koi. I've already had some pickles and hummus too and pretzels. I don't know if pickles and hummus would be good together. When you take your Accutane with a meal, it helps the pill to better absorb into your body and into your bloodstream. And so also I posted on my Instagram story that this is my favorite LaCroix. I got a few hate comments, but I'll let it slide. But I really love the lemoncello. If you guys like the lemon covered like chocolate almonds from Costco, then you'll like this. Okay, bon appetit. Look how delish. This reminds me of home, even though home is only 15 minutes away. This is so delicious. Lunch was delicious. I'm now filling up my water. I'm now gonna take my Accutane. So I have, these are the pills. Um, this is the packaging, what it looks like. Once again, I'm showing this as if someone had never seen Accutane before, cause I was really curious before I started. So this is something I'd be interested in seeing. So this is what the packaging looks like. I have them taking the 40 milligrams. They look like little green jelly beans, at least my pills do. Um, and then you just pop and peel them in the back. Before I was taking one every other day. So this pack of 10 would take me 20 days to finish. But now I'm taking one every single day. So one pill, one 40 milligram pill a day. All over is like literally, do not get pregnant, do not get pregnant. And I'm like, don't worry, we're safe. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Accutane, but um, before I do, I also wanted to show, I'm taking this pill as well, prednisone. Pre prednisone. If you're a pharmacist, maybe you know what I'm talking about, but I don't. Um, this is the pill, it's a steroid, according to my dermatologist. And it, this is supposed to help with my inflammation and just redness. So um, he said that sometimes it takes a little while for it to like kick in, but it eventually does. So I'm just like, give it to me, I'll take it. Okay, so these are what the two pills look like. The green one is the Accutane, and then, and then the white one is the steroid pill. Oh, that's like significantly better. Anyway, I'm gonna take these two. One update. The pills don't really taste like anything. They're not very big, so it's like easy to swallow. Anyway, and then drinking lots of water is really important on Accutane too, because it just helps you stay hydrated from the inside out. I literally would go days when I was younger without drinking water. Like if I was thirsty, I'd drink orange juice or milk. I asked you guys to ask me questions about Accutane and so we're gonna dive into that. Someone asked, how are you doing mentally? Heard it can make you depressed. Accutane has been known to have like a long slew of side effects, very negative side effects. And so I think it remains home. I definitely had heard a few horror stories of people becoming severely depressed or just having serious mental health challenges while on Accutane. And so going into Accutane, I wanted to be very aware of it and to monitor it daily. So um, I think that's one of the biggest things that have helped me and been beneficial in my Accutane, like beginning the journey is just being aware that those side effects are a possibility. And that for me, I was willing, I'm willing to stop Accutane the day I feel like it's not benefiting or serving me anymore or causing more issues than not. So um, now to get back to the actual question of how are you doing mentally hurt, it can make you depressed. Um, I'm doing good. I really have not felt like I've been infected mentally at all because of Accutane. Um, if anything, like I feel like it hasn't affected me in one bit. So, um, which is a huge blessing. And also like I'm upping my dosage, like things could change, but I'm once again, continuing to moderate and my mental health takes priority over my skincare. So like for me, I, it's not a big deal if I have to stop the pill. I think also having that freedom of knowing like I can stop this pill at any time, like is what helps a lot too. So anyway, I've been doing great. I feel like it hasn't affected my mental health at all in any way, shape or form. And really the side effects that I've dealt with and struggled with has been severe, severely dry lips where it like cracks on the sides it kind of feels like an Aiden Otter pop. You know when it like slits right there? Really dry skin and even more acne because I've been purging, <laughs> literally purging so freaking much. And I thought it would stop by now, but all I know is my skin looks worse than when I started. So, but it's okay. Oh, and I did get a few, I got two bloody noses, which I heard was a possibility. And my brother and I were like roughhousing, but I didn't get hit in the nose or anything. But I did also, my nose was bleeding and I was like, 
oh, Accutane. And then I got another one like the next day. So other than that, oh, actually sometimes I get occasional lower back pain and I feel like it's because of Accutane because I really hadn't had that type of back pain before, but it's not bad at all. And it really doesn't happen often, but sometimes I'm like, oh, my back kind of hurts a little bit. So other than that, side effects have been very mild and very manageable. Someone asked, are you nervous it will affect you giving birth one day? So actually this is something that I thought about too because um, as you guys might know, if you go on Accutane and you get pregnant, that can cause serious birth defects to the baby. So just in general, anyone that's on Accutane, you have to do either a form of birth control or you have to do an abstinence pledge, which in Utah, you're able to just do the abstinence pledge. Pretty much I'm just on the abstinence pledge, so I'm not on any form of birth control. So I've talked to my dermatologist and even expressed concerns about that. I'm like, will this affect like my fertility in the future? And he's like, there hasn't been any studies that like have actually supported that. There's been like, you know, people saying that that's why they think they have fertility issues and it's linked to Accutane, but he's like, really nothing's been proven. And he's like, in general, as, as soon as someone gets off of Accutane within a month, like you're, you should be able to resume all normal fertile behaviors. <laughs> that makes sense. So I'm not really nervous that'll affect my like ability to get pregnant one day when I choose to have kids. So a lot of people ask if I've been experiencing hair loss. Once again, those side effects that I listed are really the only ones that I've been struggling with. Um, luckily, hair loss hasn't been one. I was concerned about that because I remember like the showers I would take before starting Accutane when I like was done taking my shower and I have like all my hair on the wall, I kind of like take a mental note of like, okay, there's like a handful of hair right here. And then after starting Accutane, I was like looking at the amount of hair that I had lost in the shower and it was like, it was the same. If not, if anything, even less. Cause I wash my hair less now because my hair gets less greasy, which is actually a really nice side effect. So I don't wash my hair or don't need to wash my hair as often now. So no, I've not been experiencing hair loss. Is it okay to wear makeup or foundation when I'm on Accutane? Yes. As long as you washed off at night, you should be good. So, but yes, you can. And I have been wearing lots of makeup on Accutane. How do you deal with self-confidence? and just like self-confidence with acne. I'm not gonna lie. So I feel like acne, I've been struggling with it, like I said, for the past two years on and off. And definitely there's been times where it's been better and more manageable than others. But recently I feel like it's been a lot worse just the past like even four months. I feel like my acne has really never affected my confidence in terms of like not wanting to leave the house or I feel like I can talk to people normally. I really don't think about my acne much. Like once I leave my house, like it's not really a big deal. But I definitely feel like the past even month specifically, I've been so so insecure about my skin way more than like ever. Like I feel like I don't want to leave the house unless I have a full face of makeup. And even if I have a full face, even if I have a full face of makeup, I'm still like really conscious of it. When I'm out in public, I don't like really meeting new people because I feel like they're just looking at my skin probably. Which I know maybe they're not, but even if they are, like I hate that just people can look at my skin. There's just like a lot that's gone into it, especially this past month. But I just feel like I've been really working on internalizing that like my worth is not defined whether or not I have clear skin. Because if it is, then wow, your worth is so fleeting. You know, if it's based off you have a pimple or not. And so I think I've just been really working on believing that like people don't befriend me or people aren't kind to me or, or people don't have relationships with me solely because I have clear skin. Cause I think like I've never befriended anyone before because they had acne or didn't have acne. And so I just think for me, like really working on just realizing that it does not matter. And like, it is such a insignificant issue in the grand scheme of things. Like I think that's been helping, but I'm not gonna lie. It's hard when I'm like getting ready in the morning and I just hate looking in the mirror. Like that's not a good feeling. Like it just doesn't feel good. But I feel like I've definitely just um, been working on almost like coexisting with my acne where it's like, it's not gonna go away anytime soon, but I am working on it. I'm doing everything I can. So just like let God and Accutane do the rest. Like I can't do anything else. So like it is what it is, but it definitely has been, I feel like pretty hard, especially the past month. I felt a lot more insecure and conscious about it. Maybe it's also because of the purging. And so it's like my skin's been more like worse than ever, but I don't know. I mean, it's whatever. Someone asked, do they feel like my breakouts are healing faster than normal? I've actually watched quite a few Accutane videos where they're like, wow, like I'll get a pimple and then within 24 hours, like it's gone. Honestly, no. Like I feel like my breakouts have been healing like at the same rate. They definitely like my skin feels drier and I can like see them flaking more, but I feel like I haven't noticed much of a difference. Maybe that was also because I was on such like a low dosage. I know that sounds so stupid, but do you ever like speak a ton and you're like, whoa, like I'm speaking a language. That sounds so dumb, but like, it's just crazy how second nature it is to like communicate. That probably doesn't even make sense. But all I know is sometimes I just like, I'm like, whoa, like I'm totally speaking. <laughs> like I know how to form these words and I know how to communicate and people can understand what I'm saying. Okay, someone said, how has your relationship with food and fitness been since starting? Love you, sweet pea. <laughs> So nice. Sweet Pea is such a cute nickname. Um, my relationship with food and fitness it has not changed at all. If anything, the past couple months, it's been even better because I've been training for a half marathon that's coming up in June. So I've been like running a lot more. I feel like I try to fuel my body better with like dense, like healthy meals. So honestly, in regards to that, like nothing's 
changed because of Accutane. Um, someone even asked earlier, they're like, does Accutane make you nauseous? And I feel like I haven't felt like that at all. How long will you be taking it? So I think it's expected, like my dermatologist said that around month three and four is when you start realizing like, my skin's like clear, like my skin's getting really clear. But I think the process itself takes a little over six months, six to seven months. So I'm assuming by like July, August is when I'll be close to being done. But I think I'm able to start seeing results because once your skin starts getting clear, I think Accutane still has to like work internally inside of you to like just make sure everything's gone. Hopefully end of April, May is when I'm just like a glowing goddess and you guys don't recognize me, but don't worry, I'll stay humble. So when asked, has it affected my mood? No, still sexy as ever. Has it affected dating? <laughs> that's all, that's hitting close to home without getting into too much detail. I'm not gonna lie, I think it kind of has affected like my dating life a little bit, like having acne. And I think it's actually affected it. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. I think it's affected it a lot where I feel like, I don't know, maybe boys don't care, but some boys do care. That's when I've also come back to once again, like the insecurities of just like, okay, I can't control this. It's gonna come to pass one day and I'm doing my best. So like, I don't, I don't know what you want from me. And if you're only gonna befriend me because I have clear skin or you're only gonna go on a date with me, if I have clear skin, like then I don't want to go on a date with you otherwise. So I'm grateful that I have the acne to weed out the haters. It's okay if someone's like not attracted to you because you have acne, like that's not a big deal. It's whatever. But now if someone's going to treat you poorly because of it, it's like, okay, you're lame, like moving on. I think it maybe has affected my dating life like a little bit, but once again, like I wouldn't want to go on a date with a boy that was going to be rude about my skin or like treat me poorly because of it or not look at me, deem me as worthy as because of my skin. So then it saved me some time. Someone asked, have my eyes been super dry or anything with my vision? No, but I have heard that people like get really sensitive to light sometimes when they're on Accutane, but I haven't experienced anything like that yet maybe. So someone asked how many milligrams am I on? I'm on 40 milligrams once a day now. Someone said, not a question, but I've completed my treatment four years ago and still the best decision ever. See, I feel like I got so many DMs when I was like researching acne and like asking you guys about it. I feel like I had so many DMs like this that like it gave me that confidence to be like, okay, like Accutane has worked for people. It could work for me. And so that made me, I feel like have the confidence to go and explore Accutane further. So, you know, I'm like so happy to hear stuff like that. Someone said tips for staying positive through the process. Honestly, I feel like that's really hard because it's like, I want to see results instantly and when they're not happening I'm like it's not working but it's just like it's that stupid quote that's so true though and it's like just because it's just because it's taking time doesn't mean it's not happening so I think with Accutane just keeping that perspective once again of like these things will come to pass and the time will pass by so it's just like give it its time and I feel like it's too soon to judge if Accutane's working or not for me because it's literally only been like a month stop being so harsh on yourself and on the pill too anyway um I feel like that generally covers a lot of the questions that you guys were asking just about my symptoms and side effects and my experiences so far on Accutane so far I feel like it's been very positive I'm wishing and hoping that things get better and I think they will and so I'm excited to see this journey and I wanted to document it so raw and authentically that way if anyone else is struggling with acne or they're on Accutane right now that we can like relate to each other and I am also excited to just have these videos to look back on when I have clear baby butt glass skin so but I think that concludes today's video I hope you guys enjoyed watching and you have a, such a wonderful night um I hope this gave you guys a further in-depth look into how I'm dealing with my acne and my experience so far on Accutane, and I hope that you guys are having success in your skin clearing journeys if you're on them. Um, I definitely like still support and agree with, you know, like going to skin estheticians and getting the root to the problem, getting to the root of the problem, and, like healing your gut and all that beautiful stuff. But I feel like I've arrived to the point where acne, Accutane was what was right for me. So once again, I'm not a dermatologist or a doctor, so definitely talk to one before you decide doing anything. And um, this has just been my experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.